you've ever been to an art world party, it's likely that you either know or will recognize artist and curator Christopher Lee. This session is really amazing because Christopher Lee talks really openly about his drinking and partying. And I think he raises a really good question for maybe all of us, which is how much does drinking get in the way of our success? So I understand you won this session in a raffle. That's right, I won this session um, uh, as a, in the raffle at the Gallery Beat promo, promo uh, part. hung up about thinking I should be more successful. And I, but, but I'm also a person who, who drinks a lot, like to excess, you know what I mean? And it mm -hmm. causes concern amongst people and... Uh, you just ask for a glass of wine. Right. Well, that's okay. I'm not supposed to... I'm not supposed to judge. I'm not judging. Right. Uh, I've passed out on the subway. Mm -hmm. I've passed out... Um, I, 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 I've come home and and thrown up in my bedroom, you know, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, I, I've passed out in people's houses, mm -hmm. and there's, yeah, so there's, there's, there are, t uh, I consider myself like one of those people who's like a romantic, who looks at being an artist like a, as a kind of indulgent type of thing, mm -hmm. and a romantic type of thing, like when I was a kid, I really fell for that Keith Haring, Basquiat l myth, Mm -hmm. That you can just be a goofball and get discovered by someone. Uh, and even those people worked a lot harder. Those than, guys worked really they hard. Worked hard. Yeah. I delivered myself over to a lot of things that um, I'm less productive. Right. Right? Yeah, yeah. So I do think a lot of people avoid putting their work out there with, you know, drinking or drugs or filing their nails or all sorts of things. And I was wondering if that's part of, uh, if you're a little bit afraid of failure with your own work. I agree with that. That's pretty good. Because I, I do think that that's kind of what we want to get out of. As a therapist, I'll be remiss if I don't oh. say that you're not avoiding your feelings by drinking. I mean, I'm not saying I'm I, right about that, but, I, but I believe that's, that's true. What, that I is believe, true. I, be, I believe to a certain degree that's true. And, and that, that is what I wanted to be honest about. Because I think to a certain degree, uh, there is an avoidance in, ma in many things that people do, and so, so I do believe that there's some, some of that, and so I agree. I'm glad you're talking about this. It's, it's brave. Uh, so have you, obviously, have you thought about going to AA? No. Yeah, I have thought about it, but uh, I don't want to do that because, but the other side of it is I think that... Um, Feels a little like avoidance, um, which which is fine because you won the session in a raffle and <laughs> yeah, successful. I was successful. Uh, well, you're gonna have to really work hard for that then. Shit. Then your drinking is gonna get in the way. If you I really want to be like successful, play, yeah, I could just just play all the time. Okay.